As you probably know, Oxygen OS 4.0 is now out and it comes along with Android 7.0 Nougat. So there's a few features that are just specific to the OnePlus 3T that are new and there's some Nougat features that are now on this phone. But I just want to go through my top 5 um, OnePlus 3T Nougat features, whether they're just um, from Nougat or they're ones that um, OnePlus actually added in themselves. So the first thing that I want to talk about is quick settings and this is... Um, pretty much a nugget feature so as you see the quick settings look pretty similar to how they did um, in the previous version that the OnePlus 3T had because they just kind of styled it in that way in Marshmallow but now it's got multiple pages which it didn't have before and you can also do things like expand it and this is actually something that I missed when I, mo when I moved to the OnePlus 3T because I used to use Resurrection Remix and that had this feature and it's one that I really like so instead of tapping it basically disabling it or enabling it it now just um, expands it, so you can like choose a different network or something like that, which is pretty great. It does the same for Bluetooth and for your data, and you can like see how much data you've used and stuff. So it's a really, really nice feature. And there's also support, if I go to that, as you see at the bottom, there's also support for third-party apps too. So as you can see, there's one for Spotify, for BetterNet, which is a VPN, and um, for Google Play services. So you can add those in, just drag and drop them in like that. So moving on pretty much straight underneath is notifications. So notifications are a lot better in Nougat. This is actually a Nougat specific feature. It's not one that OnePlus added in. They're just really, really great now. So as you can see, you can expand on contract notifications now. And um, you can do this either by swiping or by tapping at the top part here. And yeah, they just look so much better. They take up the entire width now and they just look a lot nicer there. And something that I couldn't actually show you with the notifications I had before is that they actually bundle up notifications now. So as you see, if I go in here, oops, and I drag it down like that, you can see that it's showing them as separate notifications. And then you swipe down again and you can reply to the specific notification or you can archive that one. So it's just a lot better than how they do it on iOS device and stuff like that and how it was in the past on Android. Everything's just bundled up, so it doesn't get confusing. Or everything from the same app's bundled. So it's just really, really great. And something else that's slightly changed but isn't really new as such is that um, to actually go to the settings for basically making it silent when notifications come in or blocking notifications, you actually just swipe from the side ever so slightly like that and then you tap the gears. You can still do it the old way, which is just long tap, long pressing on it and it brings the same things up. But again, it just looks a bit different, a lot nicer, and just, yeah, a lot nicer, basically. But it does the same sorts of things. So press done, and you can also reply. In some cases, it shows the reply right here. So it will basically, you basically tap reply, and it shows it right here. It does that in like Messenger, and Hangouts, and stuff like that. But if you do reply here, then it goes straight into the app, and you can just basically send a reply like that. You can also hide status bar icons now, which is actually really, really great because I've been wanting to get rid of the NFC stat status bar icon for ages. So to do that, you go to settings, then you go to status bar. And as you can see, you can basically hide any of these that you want. So as you see, I've turned NFC off. I always like having NFC off because I do stuff like mobile mobile payments and stuff like that. So I don't want to have to see the NFC at the top all the time, but I don't want to have to switch it off because I'll just forget to switch it on again and it'll be a bit annoying once I get there and stuff. So yeah, I just like to keep the status bar icon off because I know NFC is going to be on. I don't need to see that it's on in the notifications. So you can do that and you can do it for any other things. So like if you have alarms, you can switch the alarm icon off, which is probably something I'm going to be doing once I start setting alarms again when I go back to university and stuff. And yeah, it's just really, really great. So moving on to the show for a second, as you see, I don't really use the stock um, OnePlus launcher, so I basically have nothing here. But moving on to the shelf, there's apparently improved shelf customization. I don't really see the difference. I tried um, like seeing what could possibly be new. I mean, you can expand and contract these. I don't know if that was a thing before. And you can add stuff like a memo or you can add a widget, which actually I think the memo is there by default anyway. And I'm sure it was there before. So be sure to tell me down in the comments down below actually what's new with the shelf because I'm actually genuinely curious at this point, to be honest. And moving back to Nova Launcher, number five is actually that. You can change the DPI and that's basically dots per inch. It basically makes things on the screen look bigger or smaller, um, which I'll basically show you what it means. So if I go to display and I go down to display size, this is basically where you can change the DPI. 
So as you can see, I've got it set small now. By default, it's on normal or default, sorry. And as you can see, everything just looks a lot bigger. I mean, I have got the font size as large because um, I use it basically with the smaller DPI. But as you can see, everything just looks larger. Like this takes up a lot more of the screen and everything's just bigger. So what a smaller DPI does, it just basically makes everything take up less space. So the, as you see, the notification center doesn't go as far down and stuff just looks bigger. You just basically have more space. So if you go into Twitter, for example, you're gonna be seeing a lot more tweets on the page as opposed to if you have the DPA as a bigger size. So you can see a lot more stuff. Text looks smaller, which is why I increased the font size a bit, but it just looks, um, it just basically gives you more real estate. So that might be something you wanna consider doing. And by the way, to change your font size, which you might wanna do, you go to font size and you can change it to be larger or smaller. Um, I just like it being large because I don't have to strain my eyes with like really small fonts like these, as you can see. So yeah, that's just a personal preference, but that's pretty much it for my top five Android um, Nougat features on the OnePlus 3T. There are other features, though they're not really ones I think I'm going to use that much, so I didn't really mention them. There's stuff like um, the whole um, multi-screen thing, or split-screen thing, sorry. So you can have two things on the screen at the same time and stuff like that. I don't personally think I'm going to use it, but yeah, it is there. It works in landscape and portrait. There's stuff like doing the recent gesture twice to go between your two previously used apps basically. So the app that's open and the app that you used before. But again, I don't really use it that much just because I'm so used to double tapping to basically go to recent. So it's a bit kind of hard for me to do, to be honest. But yeah, there's a whole lot of features. There's a whole lot of other features that are Nogget specific, but these were basically my favorite anyway. So be sure to tell me if you like this format of a more kind of sitting down on the table, just kind of showing my phone rather than me being up there. Um, basically talking to the camera and stuff like that. Be sure to tell me if you like that format. Be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.